the old barracks I went to school there from seventh grade until the middle of my ninth grade. My connection to it is just when I went to work in Christiansted across the street from the police station was the car the barracks building down the yard. Play ball in it. In the barracks yard we played softball and basketball and volleyball. We ran boat race and in, the, in the, the rainy season we ran boat race in the gutter from there to go down to the sea. We got up early in the mornings and we did what we had to do and our parents were very cautious. You had to be there to catch that bus. And if you didn't catch a school bus, there was only one person behind to give you a ride and that was a teacher by the name of uh, Ana Ritter coming from Frederickstead. And it had a million and one students in his car. I don't know how they held. And he was quite a driver. When he drove, the kids said that they were just, you know, But I said we never, never had a fight. I can't remember ever having a fight. In, in, I honestly can't remember fighting or having a fight in school. There were no violence or stuff like that? Violence? No, no. no. Wow. We, no, no, no. we respect everybody. Then um, lunchtime, if you didn't want the lunch, you had to go home to get lunch. Only the kids from the country could eat in the lunchroom. So there was a lady downstairs in the streets where the police station used to be selling pate. You can't go out because the bell have already rung. So you just take a paper bag and a piece of string and you put it down to her. <laughs> and she put in the pate and you pull it back up. In her. You're in home economics class now. You, the cooking in home economics, we're learning to cook, but we can't wait for that, so we buy a party from the sex area. I remember when we went to the high school over there, all the classrooms never had telephone. So you could have take up the phone and call them. So Miss Ms. Emma Jackson, she was a nice, pretty lady. She looked, she looked just young like me. Mm -hmm. So I, I used to pick up the phone and call her. Hello. Wanna see you later? <laughs> and I said, I get suspended for things like that. I I is the best speller now because to to learn to learn to spell. You had to, the teacher gave us 20 words every week. Monday morning, 20 words. So you learn to, Friday, you're going to spell each of these words. And when Friday comes to teach you, she got all that strap in the hand, I don't know. You spell the word. If you miss, anyone you miss, you gain a last for each one. I miss two. I get two last in my back and front. Then I, I could spell now, my son.